Hey everybody, it's Mr. Giggles here. I'm in Crota's End, all by my lonesome here. Now this is obviously, you know, this is a raid. Obviously it's meant to be played as a team of six. Um, and I actually enjoy it uh, better with a full team. Uh, but, uh, you know, I thought, you know, year one coming to a close and, you know, t taking King just around the corner, I thought, what better way than... Or what better time to then to show you guys how I solo Crota? <clears throat> now this is on normal mode. You you can obviously do this on hard mode as well. Um, on hard mode, obviously there's not going to be a chalice. And the way I do it, uh, yeah, you you you're going to need that chalice. On hard mode, you have to you have to switch things up a little bit because you really don't want to be getting hit too much. So at this point, we're just going to clear these ads out. Now you actually can. Um, as soon as that glass breaks or that barrier breaks, you can actually run past these ads and go out there and start Crota. Um, I've tried that a few times. The only problem is the ads will actually swarm around Crota's feet, and when you're going to take Crota down, um, they give you just they give you more trouble than it's worth. So you know, it just takes a couple minutes to solo this. <clears throat> This guy obviously didn't want to die. I kept missing him. Alright, so at this point I'm going to go invisible. Get my shotgun out. We're going to run down here on this platform, grab the chalice, and we're just going to hold this platform and take the sword bearer out from right here. The reason we do that is because, well, namely, uh, it's easier with a shotgun. You don't have to waste rockets. And also you're you're closer to Crota. You know, and obviously this whole entire Crota is on a timer. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and jump up, take Crota out, get a few slams in on him. Okay. Gonna back up. We need to hit him a couple more times. Now if you jump up and down right here as you're shooting rockets, you can you can generally uh, avoid his blast on you. You can see how the, the boomers are really taking a lot of damage off on me. Um, if it wasn't for that chalice, there's no way I would have survived that. So on hard mode, uh, it's obviously a lot better to do it from the platform only. You know, where the sword, you know, the same platform that I took the sword bear out on, the same one as the chalice. Get a little peek at Curtis' health here. So he's not quite to half. I mean, we got, I mean, it looks like we got at least four slams on him, maybe five. So that's, that's really good. And you want, you want to try to get at least four. Um, at least four one time. Otherwise, it's just going to be, it's going to, you're going to be cutting it close toward the end of whether or not you're going to be able to uh, get him down before he enrages. Now what I'm doing here is I, I always like to draw the sword bear into me when I solo this. And the reason I do that is because you can see Crota's rotated and now I have the sword right away. I don't have to worry about going out in the middle, getting shot by Crota. I just have the sword right away. So I'm going to jump up here just like I do on normal, go invisible. And then we're going to jump up on the platform. And like I said, you'll drop the sword and you're going to shoot him and shoot him like as you're jumping. Okay, we got three slams. Now you can see the sword just ran out, so there's no way I would have had time to hit him again at that point. Also, at this point, I've downed him twice, so now ogres are going to come out. You can see I got my, I have one rocket here, so just a little tip, um, you know, 
Obviously, if I went ahead, would have gone ahead and popped that heavy ammo synth right then, I would have filled up my rockets. But by going ahead and conserving this one rocket before I fill it, that way, that way I get eight rockets instead of seven. At this point, you know, as long as you do this right, I mean, you only need two more rockets to down Crota. So you can go ahead and use these on the ogres. If if you don't have, you know, enough rockets at this point, um, switch off your shotgun to a, a nice uh, sniper rifle will do the trick as well. So now, you know, it looks like, okay, Crota's rotated back, but you can see the Sword Bear hasn't even come out of that door yet. And also, I'm jumping up and down to kind of show you guys, I don't know if you can see up on the platform with Crota, the Enrage part, or, you know, like kind of the Ogre part, it's similar to the Enrage. It really stirs up everything. So you can see, like, there's still Cursed Thrall up there with him. You know, there's still regular Thrall up there. You know, so at this point, even if, when the sword bear does come out, this is not a good time to go ahead and go up there, just because you want everything to kind of settle down and get the ads back to where they're supposed to be. So I'm going to go ahead and let ro uh, Crota rotate before I finish them off. <clears throat> so now Crota's rotating. I'm going to go ahead and draw the sword bear into me, get him in place, so I can have the sword right on top of me when it's when it's time. The sword bear will follow you back uh, at least about quarter ways into this room, so be careful. I don't think I've ever taken the time to see exactly the time in seconds that it takes Crota to rotate back to the middle. I, I, I've just done this so many times, I just kind of know. That's why you kind of see me as I take the sword bear down, I mean, blindly, without even really looking whether or not Crota's rotated. I just, I don't know, I guess I just kind of learned the time. Thrall almost got me right there. And there you go. That is how you solo Crota. This is Mr. Giggles. If you liked it, please uh, go ahead and click that like button. And also, if you haven't followed me, I'm Captivated Gamer on YouTube. Thanks, guys.